Hello, hello. How are you tonight? I uh, hope you've had a great day. It is Thursday. And I say that for myself as much as for you. <laughs> it's hard to remember sometimes what day it is. Things are getting a little crazy every now and then. Um, I just want to make sure that I get this shared. So I'm going to bring this over here and I can do it. Oh, there it is. That was quick. We went live real fast. All right, so let me get this to the other page. And then no one will miss it. Which is the cool part. Um, if you happen to post a question and I don't answer it on the my older page, the one that still says Cricut, um, I go back and look at that. So if you're watching us there, you might want to come on over to the chalk page, which the link is on that page too. Um, but if not, no worries, because I will, thank you, I will, um, yeah, I'll come over there and answer any questions that you might have. Whew, it's been kind of a whirlwind day, and I'm, I'm not sure what your thoughts are or where you're at or whatever, but I am super excited that I was just able to schedule the vaccine for my husband and I. So I am looking forward to slowly getting back to normal. My mom has her first one, and we're going to go for the second one this week, and then it's my turn. So I'm excited. It's been stressful making sure that everyone stays healthy. Yeah, but anyway, enough about me. We are going to do something. Well, I haven't done this one before. So let's bring you right down. If anybody has any questions... Um, oh no, I can't go right to the project. I have to tell you, gosh, you think I'd write these things down. First of all, what is Chocotour? Chocotour is Chocology Paste. Whoops. Hey, Shannon. Chocology Paste and Silk Screen Adhesive Transfers. Yeah, this is the one we're using. I know, Susan, I'm feeling really grateful. Um, it's silk screen in those little holes, so you don't get that kind of bleedy, icky mess. You don't get any of those things. Works out great. Okay, so that's what it is. I am a designer with them. There are three ways that you can participate. Number one, though, what you want to do before you even figure out if you want to participate at all is make sure that you go enroll in the free class that's in, the, in my teachable classroom. I've had a teachable classroom for a really long time. If you took any other classes with me, Cricut or coloring or Stampin' Up or sewing or any of those things, they're all still there. And this is a free classroom that I've set up to keep all the chalky stuff in one spot. Super easy to find. Yeah, it's in Facebook and yeah, it's on YouTube and yep, it's on my blog. Yeah, all those things. But sometimes it's just easier to just kind of settle into one spot and you can download all the videos so they're there. Everything I do Facebook Live gets loaded into that classroom so you don't have to go wandering around to try and find it. And it's free, by the way. Yes, free, totally free. No catch, I promise, there is no catch. I'm not charging for classes. I am sharing how much I love this. I do sell the product and I love when you shop that you shop with me, but all of the ideas and everything that I share, all the classes, they're free. Okay, so make sure you go do that if you haven't already done it. Then in there, there's some like really detailed things to tell you how you can participate. How does it work? How expensive is it? What do I want? There's a catalog you can download. There's a link to my online store. All the details in the classroom is the easiest way to find it. I do have... Um, Lots of videos for you to look at too. Because seriously, you got to try it. Oh, Shannon, you're going to love it. You know what's, you know why I love it? And I'm going to do this before I turn it, I put it down on the, on the desk. You seriously don't have to think. That's the coolest part. You can, it's like coloring or the, you don't have to measure. You don't have, none of that stuff. Exactly. It really is. You drew it once and then you're like, oh, why, why, why did I do anything else? I have no idea. This is the coolest thing since sliced bread. And you can get as carried away with your own personalization if you want. Um, 
I did one where I, I made it say something else. It, it, you can do that. It's, it's really easy if you want to do that. It depends on how much you want to involved you want to be tonight's is pretty easy so let's go over there yeah okay so here we are and let me pull this off so it doesn't cover anything up I'll bring that back up after if you missed it all right so here's our chalk paste I did I did I was gonna I had it in the kitchen and I got nervous that somebody was gonna oh those of you that didn't see it my tray that I made last night is right over here and then the other ones are actually up higher. If I move this up a little. Oh, that light's kind of bright up there. But see, there's the one from earlier in the week. I am going live every day. The weekends might be a little not so often. We'll see. I'll, I try to go live every day with a project till I run out of things to chalk on. The dogs are not standing around me. They're getting really nervous. <laughs> okay, so this handy-dandy little surface, I found this at my Dollar General. It wasn't a dollar. Dollar General is not a dollar. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't a lot. It's an eight by eight and it says wood palette. So because it's wood and not finished, I waxed it. We have something, and I'll put the links to all the stuff I'm using in, in here when I'm done. Um, there's something called surface wax that kind of seals the wood a little bit. So if you decide you want to wipe it off, you can. If you use chalk paste on any of the chalk couture surfaces, like for example, here is a surface. This is a chalkboard and base, and it stands up and makes this awesome sign. If you use these, they simply wash off. No big deal. Not they're, they're already they come that way. It's really not very big. There's probably a little, maybe a four foot section, but it had it. <laughs> I grabbed it. It was only one. Um, okay, so there's that. So when you're going to use raw wood, you're going to want to wax it with the surface wax first. Let it dry and then just kind of buff it off. So it doesn't feel like I did anything, but it makes it a little less absorbent of the color. Especially because I'm going to use guava, which is kind of a pigmenty, strong color. All right, this is your transfer. Oh, and so the way this works, it's got like this little easel thing on the back. Right? Or it can hang. I kind of like it like this. I think that's kind of cute. All right, but now it's got spaces, right? So I had to think about this. All right. This is Live in the Moment, and this is from Chalk Couture has a series of chalk stories. And what that is is they put up several transfers that all kind of coordinate. This is from the Botanical Collection. Every time I say that, I feel like I should hold up my pinky and say, The Botanical Collection. It just is one of those words. Um, but yeah, it's from there. And we've done several things using that. This tray that's behind me. If I go grab it, I'll knock things flying. But you can look back and you'll see others that I use. But I like this and I've used it a bunch of times because it's just kind of cool. And it kind of fits what's going on right now. Live in the moment. So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to make sure that most of the letters hit... I think like that. I played with this a bunch earlier. I want to get the majority of the letters on the board, but there is going to be a space. So I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I got to, I got to see. In that's okay. And I think what I'm going to do is come down and put moment down on this one but I'm gonna let Liv be there. I just have to see, because I don't think Liv would fit all on one. No, it won't. Ooh, I could do it that way. That might look better. Okay, one of the things I have to do though is, I've put this on the wood about six times and now it's not sticking as well as I would like it to stick. So, what you wanna do if your transfer isn't sticking as well you can use, um, let's see if I push it down, if it will do it. If not, then it's gonna leak underneath it, yeah. Let me, let me grab a different one. Can you see what's happened to the back of this? I've played with it on this wood and now it's got a lot of wood on it. So what I would need to do, but I don't want you to have to wait for me, is I would need to wash it. And then it would have to dry and all those things. And I, I thought about that before, but then I got distracted and I didn't. 
So let me see what else I have that I can use. But know that this one isn't here, but I bet I can use this one. Anyway, this is Love Brings Us Home, and I'm gonna do the same idea, okay? And then later I'll show you what this looks like when I can make it more sticky, but I know if I use it right now, it's gonna be a nightmare. So Love Brings Us Home is gonna do the same idea. I'm gonna put love on that one. All right. Oh, much better sticky. Um, this board is not smooth, so it may cause nightmares. I like to do things with you live, though. Well, it makes my blood pressure go up, but I want you to see, you know, if it doesn't work, then, whoop, so that was a bad idea. Don't do that one again. So this wood is cool, but it's really rough. So maybe I should paint it first to make it smooth, but let's give it a try. All right, now I feel like this is moving too much. We'll know in a minute. If it is, then we'll come back and paint. Yeah, I think we're okay. But it's not sticking really well, so don't do this as your very first project, because you'll be really upset that it doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. See, it shouldn't move like this. I don't like it. I'll just mumble under my breath here. I could have used the other one because it's working exactly the same way. Not as well as I would have liked. I've had this thing sitting here for a while. So what could I do so that we don't get these kind of wibbly wobbles? Not bad. It's not bad. But let me show you what I could do with it to maybe get better coverage down here. I'm going to take my little brush. And I have just some plain white craft paint and I'm gonna pop this is now gonna take a little bit longer than I planned it's okay put some paint right there and I'm gonna whitewash it over the wood which is gonna give it a much better surface it's not gonna really paint it because this is really thin this is dollar paint dollar store paint but it's gonna cover it and give it a better coating to, to chalk on. So sometimes the wax is enough, other times you need to give it a little better coating, okay? Now, I will tell you, and I've told you this for years when we, when we first did Cricut, when you are just starting out, use the surfaces that Chalk Couture has so that you don't have this kind of a glitch. It's not horrible and you can fix it, and I'll show you how. But you know, when you're just learning something new, you want to do something that's not going to give you a headache. You want to learn some. You want to do something that's going to give you positive feedback all the time, right? So let's let that dry for a minute, and I'm going to show you love in the moment on one of the surfaces that Charcuterie gives us. Well, they sell it to us. They don't give it to us. One of the Chalk Couture surfaces. So how this works is it has this cute little board. And I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to wax it. It's just ready to go. And it fits right in here like so, right? All right, so I want to see if it will fit this way. No. Okay, so it's going to go this way. You could sand it. Yep, Shannon. Shannon, that requires tools that I don't own. But you could. You guys would have those. See how much better that sticks on here, though? Right? Smooth surfaces work better than bumpies. Okay, so let's just put this on nice and smooth. And 
while my palette is drying, because now the project that I wanted to do is not happening on there, um, we'll do it on this one and then we'll come back and finish the palette. So you just put this on and then go back and you can squeegee off the excess. All right, so just get it on there. Make sure you cover all the silk screen and then come back and squeegee off the excess. All right and then scrape it back in the jar. Well, see, you're gonna love this then. And then peel and reveal, right? Super cool, super easy. Looks like you're a genius. And I'm gonna bring this over for a minute and dry it. And then I have these cute little beads that I got in a bag, it was a bag of a bag of beads. Just little wooden beads, but I want them to be the color that we're using. So, while everything else is drying, this, seriously. Ta-da! Easy peasy. And my, my decoration on top could go on that too. Um, I'm using some twine, but my beads are wood and I want them to be a color, right? <laughs> I think she might have ordered a couple of those. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my brush and another one of these and a little a stir stick, get a little bit of paint, and spritz some water in it. So I'm going to make it watery paint. All right, this is going to get on me. I'm going to get dirty. I have this idea. Oh, I'm going to pull my idea. Wait a minute. This is my paper piercer, and I'm going to put my bead on that, and then just paint my bead, right? This is, this wipes right off, it's no problem, it's on my finger, yep, it is, but I want my beads to be the color to coordinate, you know I'm a matchy-matchy person, so I want this to be the same, so I'm going to use the same color as my chalk. Right now, somebody could pick it up in their hand and just do it, but I can't. I know Lana's got some already. So those of you that wonder how I know these people so well, Lana is on my my chalk couture team, which we just got our name today. We are the Chocolatiers. Which, if you say it really quick, you might think that we like chocolate, which we all do. But we're also talking fools. See? Look at that. Right? Alright, so we're just getting this down here. You will also notice that I clearly use too much chalk paste to make my paint. I didn't need that much. Oops, get over here. And then I can just wipe this off and it'll be all clean and fine. You could use a little skewer and that would work. You could buy the paint, you could buy the um, beads in the right color and you wouldn't have this trouble, but you know, I bought them in natural because I might want to do other colors with them. Okay, there we go. Move you over here. And then 
take this and spritz it. I could use a wipe too. All good. All right, these guys are gonna dry. Now we're gonna bring you back. I'm all dry. And I'm gonna do, see I kind of like the idea of having it overlap, but then I don't know if I can tell it's the letter E. Let me see if I can do this. Let's try it, right? How are we gonna know? I kind of like the idea that it overlaps a little. And I try not to use transfers that aren't available and I'm really sorry, this one is not available anymore. Which is really not nice of me. Because now you're gonna want it. Um, these are reusable. Oh, about a dozen times. So honestly, if one of you is absolutely positively in love with this transfer, I might pick a lucky winner. What I've been doing each week is I am giving away one of my projects. No, you don't get to pick which one. It's whichever one I can get in the mail easiest, to be honest. So Valerie, I don't know if you're watching, Valerie's in the classroom, I think it's Valerie, if I'm not saying that wrong. Um, I already emailed her to tell her that she's getting a prize this week. Yes, yes, Lana, homemade chocolate. Yeah, I knew I screwed this up. All right, I'm not liking this board, you guys. I'm really not. I think I'm gonna take Shannon up on the sanding thing and come back, okay? We're gonna call this a fail. It's not as bad as the pickup truck, but we're gonna call this one a fail. I'm going to sand it and I'll do this one tomorrow and I bet it will look way better and we'll like it more, okay? Trust me, it doesn't always go the way you want it to go and it's really okay, not a problem. Let me come back. In the meantime though, let's put this away and let me show you what my plan was for the live in the moment, which I'm actually kind of doing tonight. Yeah. The beauty of live. Things don't always go the way you want them to go. But you know what? That's the way it happens when you craft as well. I know, how can we get Lana to share her chocolate with all of us? All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna take this twine and we're gonna start with enough on this end, all right? And I kinda have to stand it up. I'm gonna just wrap it around the top. And I'm going to try and go up and down a little. So it's not even. Hold on, I'll show you what my plan was. Oops. Okay. So here we are. Bring this around and we're just going to go under and tie a knot right in the top in the middle can hold on to everything all at once. I know, I'll work on the other board and I'll sand it and we'll love it a whole lot more. So I'm just gonna double knot this. Let me, sh I'll show you in a sec. I need two hands though, I have to push it down. Okay. We're gonna double knot that. Then we're gonna take another little piece And I want this, this knot to be over here. I'm just gonna slide it over. It takes two hands though. Okay, so I want my knot over there. So I'm gonna take this 
and put it underneath. Come here. I am impatiently waiting for my, I have a whole bunch of new transfers coming, but the postal service is not our friend. Don't let anyone kid you that they are. This tracking number said it was gonna be here on the 21st. Yeah, that was days ago, right? Then it said, oh, it's gonna be a little late. And it says nothing else. It just says, this is USPS and it's gonna be a little late. And you try and contact them, there's no way to contact them. You just get a recording. And my little post office, I remember I live in the boonies, my little post office said, um, we don't know, you could go to the, to the big city and talk to them, but they don't know what I'm talking about. And I don't even know if it's here. I don't know what state it's in. So now, I, oh, I, I should have talked about this instead of complaining. Um, this is placement tape from Chaka Chor to help you with alphabet placement. Uh, you know? My, I have other ones that are going to be here before that one if that aren't coming USPS. So this helps you to thread this in, the little bead, right? There's one and two. And then I'm going to take this off and I'm going to tie a knot. Yeah. <laughs> We're reading. My Amazon order was supposed to be here Monday. It got here today. An Amazon Prime order. Yep. Okay, so there's that, right? Aren't those cute? Okay, we're gonna do it over here too. It's just, I guess, life in the pandemic. I don't know. I don't know why. It seems like we've been doing this for a year. You think we would have figured it out today? By today. I went to pick up my um I do Walmart grocery pickup and I went to get my groceries today and I pulled in and my app said, oh, you've arrived. Great. Your groceries have been picked up. N n no, no, they haven't. <laughs> nope. That's not true. I have arrived, but I didn't pick them up. So I called the number and the lady's like, oh yeah, there was somebody with the same last name. I know my name is Miller. It's rather common. There was somebody with the same last name, but we didn't put it in their car. Oh, okay. Good. Do you still have it? Or what are we doing here? <laughs> she said, oh, no, no, we have it. We'll be right out. We're sorry. Okay. So my groceries came and everything was fine. But never had that happen before either. So kind of interesting. Just, again, live in the moment. Just go with. Right? How can you be out of kitty litter? They were out of something today. I don't remember what it was. Okay, so there are our beads, right? Isn't that cute? Whoops, I took you right at the camera. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right, I would have liked it on the on the I would have liked it on the palette board too, but you know what? I'm living with it. It's good. I'm happy. And I'm gonna go grab my sandpaper and maybe I'll pop in at some point tomorrow and do that, or I'll just do it a recording of it and put it up so we can do a new project tomorrow night. But anywho live in the moment. I love it. I really love it. And again, I am such a matchy queen. I love that everything coordinates, looks good together, gives it this kind of rustic-y look. Love it. Okay, so um, tomorrow, usually I go live at three, but I'm probably going to stick to my eight o'clock at night because I feel like I'm all by myself at three in the afternoon. So I'll be here at eight, even though it says three. Yeah, it really does. And I'll let you know how the uh, how the palette board turned out and whether we can boycott Dollar General or we really like it. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great night. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.